Fans and fellow comedians are mourning the sudden loss of Bob Saget. The Full House star and host of America's Funniest Home Videos was found dead in an Orlando hotel room yesterday. Police say there are no signs of drug use or foul play. CBS News contributor Jamie Wax takes a look back at Saget's career. Hi, it's time now for This Week in History. Bob Saget's rapid rise to stardom actually started in news. F.W. Woolworth was born. He had two sisters who were five and ten. <laughs> Not as a newsman, but as an in-house comedian on the morning program on this network in 1987. The show didn't last a year. I was there five months, and then next thing I knew, I was fired, and then I got the job on Full House. As so beloved widowed dad Danny Tanner to three young girls, Saget soon became a household name. Girls, I am taking all three of you out for Father-Daughter Day. Two years later, he was the first host of America's Funniest Home Videos and the star of two top-rated primetime shows. When you look back at your life, it's like you've had multiple careers, right? I mean, I'm having them right incredible. now. Saget was born in Philadelphia in 1956. After graduating from Temple University, he moved to Los Angeles and became a fixture in comedy clubs, where he was known for raunchy sets. But we made these children, my wife and I. We actually made As a regular on the stand-up circuit, Saget continued to draw from those early days, injecting risque, profanity-filled material free from the squeaky clean image he projected on TV. <laughs> Safe, so New generations safe. heard only his voice as the narrator on How I Met Your Mother. I'm going to tell you an incredible story. And knew him as a recurring Danny Tanner on hey, Fuller House. Uh, Bob Saget transcended generations. So older comics, younger comics, everyone in the middle loved Bob Saget. No Offstage, Saget worked tirelessly to raise attention and millions of dollars to fight scleroderma after losing his sister to the rare tissue disease. Humor is the only way my family survived. Saget spoke to CBS's Dr. John LaPook last month after his loss. It is so healthy to laugh and I'm out there doing it, and I know it's healing for people. Jamie Wax, CBS News.